Hello everybody, Hood Tastic here. I have a game for you. This game is called The Boy. Let's check the options. Okay. Seems like everything is good. Let's let's do it to it. Lights flicking on automatically as I approach the door. As a person, had a good sleep last night. That doesn't usually happen when I travel, especially after being on a plane for hours. I look behind me at all the boxes stacked around the room. I don't feel like I'm packing. I already have the essentials out. Maybe not the floor of this building. It will be good to meet my neighbors. Let's do it. A little shadow pops up in front of me. She's too small to block the highway. Good morning. I haven't seen you around here before. You must be our new neighbor. Not many humans live here. You're the first in a long time. Am I the only one here? There are a few others. I admit that we haven't gotten a new human resident in a couple of years. Most of them have been living here since they were born. Why did you choose this place? Not exactly human friendly, but you must have no doubt of it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. For the police and simplicity, yeah? Interesting choice, choosing this place. But you're right, it is peaceful here. There's nothing much going on within these walls. No shadows are so quiet compared to you. How long have you been here? A few decades at least, I don't remember the exact number. This place hasn't changed much since I first got here. The only difference is that less humans live here than number four. It's not a big deal to me, this place is very attractive here, I'm sad on. My friend avoided is more sad about it than me, but I'm pretty sure he misses the humans. He was a little nervous that we're getting a new human, get, uh, human neighbor. It is the end of the hallway and I don't think I has ever left this place, wow. As for me, I like traveling around. Got to make use of all my energy before I become old and seven millennia. millennia. What are you doing out here? I was going on my daily walk in these halls. This is my morning ritual before sleep. Wish she reminds me, make sure not to run in these halls or they'll loot endlessly. It's a great way to run forever. But don't worry about it, just stop running in the hall, we return back to home. You can see it's like a treadmill. If you stop running, you'll fall right off it. Oops, sorry, I guess I'm getting sleepy. See you later. Don't get lost now. The Google has its own joke report disappearing into the floor. All right, good. At least that thing is joking walking down the hallway. Shouldn't be that hard. Well, the good thing is, now you know you can walk and not worry about anything. I guess I don't have to go for a run. I can just do it here without no one walking. A big shadow pops in front of me looking deep in thought. He's walking the hallway. The big shadow startles and looks down at me. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. You look sad, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm a little worried about our new neighbor. That must be you, I haven't seen any human face over a century. We don't get new residents so often, we don't have any, we don't have any guidelines or posts or anything. Trial and error usually works, but it's stressful as you can imagine. I had help when I first moved here, so I wanted to extend a favor. What tips do you have? The lights flicker on and off do not move. The area gets surrounded by darkness every day. Shadows can slip out easy or relax there. For other beings like yourself, you only need to stay still when the lights will turn back on. Anything that meant light wouldn't work. 
Tuggy eating up out of dark in the black hole. You can hang out in the dark. It's not dangerous, but I personally don't like it. Two hundred fifty years ago, I was still a young shadow. Then I almost lost, got lost trying to get to my room. It may sound ironic, but I'm scared of dark. You know, the lights off. I cried for help. I sat on her and may have helped me out. From there, it helped me navigate, and I live in this building. His name is the Void. It knows the building best since it built this place along with its other friends. I wish I could have met the other helpers before he died. The Void always speaks fondly about his friends. It might be a bit shy, but it's more sensitive like the most sad part. I think it better we get going and let you continue on your day. See you later. It was nice meeting you. I hope to see you around. We isn't me for sinking to the ground. Alright, let's move on. I reached the end of this hallway. A large shadow crawls out from inside. His claw-like hands are lightly scraping the floor. Hello. You're our new neighbor, aren't you? My name is Avoid. But you probably already know that from my friends. They both said you might visit me. Why don't you come inside? We can chat more in there. It's too spacious. I prefer closed spaces. All right, let's go inside then. Welcome to my home. I don't keep much furniture, so I, I can bring another chair for you. No thanks, I want to use my legs. Understandable, the plane ride here must have felt like forever. No matter where you, no matter where you were, the trip here always takes off. Um, why don't you have more furniture? I'm very minimalist. I don't need many things or any things at all. This chair was a gift from my old human friend. He was horrified when he saw my home. He thought I had been robbed. I assured him this is how my home normally is. I don't need any objects to lie on. I find comfort in residing in a room or space my physical being. He found out that interesting and understood, but he wanted to give me a gift anyway. He made this chair for me by himself. He told me that if I don't use it, he will be able to. He told me if I don't use it, he will be able to whenever he visits. This must be several centuries old by now. I like sitting in it. It makes me feel like the part I'm still with. Me. He used to live where you moved in. That room has been empty ever since he died. Maybe it's time for that place to be filled with life. Why is it great? To prevent the sunlight from coming in, it's too bright in the morning. It hurts my body to be hit by any sort of light. Shadows normally don't get affected by light, but I'm very sensitive. I accidentally get exposed to terrible surprise, and that always happened before. A group of unknowing humans lit up fireworks several centuries ago for a celebration. That was not fun. They ended up, they ended the fireworks to play as fast as they could, but it had already dealt his damage to me. My body hurt for weeks. My recovery wasn't so bad though because of humans and my friends' help. After everything, we still ended up as friends and they all ended up staying to live here. And they and us shadow formed a big family. As time went by, they all got older and a few had children. Most of the children moved out from their community stage. Much as I wish that time would take my four friends, they all eventually passed away. Shadows lived for a millennium. The shadows I had were already several thousand years old, and human lifespans were too short. I thought, I, I thought that we had all the time in the world. That's what it is. I cherish the time that we had. And I'll continue to enjoy the time we have left. I 
I don't keep a clock in here. Sorry, I can tell when there's light outside. So I have to it should be dark by now. Try to open the window. Maybe I'm a bit biased, but I always find the night more beautiful than day. It's wonderful the way that darkness covers the area and all those people are quiet. Don't let me keep in long, you must be sleepy. I am quite sleepy too. My sleeping schedule has been all over the place. I'll be off of bed now. If you need any help with anything, don't hesitate to ask me. I'll be happy to help. Please goodbye at me before this is back. Pause. Ah! I gaze over the city once more before making my leave. Ah! New place, new friends. This place has already started to feel like home. You reached a true ending. Thank you for playing. Play again. So a true ending. Okay, so what I noticed is that you can go past the little ghost and you can go past the big ghost. So let's do that. for a while now I feel like this all would never end I turn around start running back with running away back to my room I see nothing but in this wall oh so basically she the little ghost told you that if you run the hallway will go forever being that you never talked to that ghost you never knew when to stop but common sense would have told you to stop anyway, you've gotten tired. Okay. And this hallway. Okay. Let's um let's go back. We've seen all there's no reason to look at it, no. Okay, so now we're gonna push back, push past this one, push past. Oh, wow! Before I could reach him, he sinks down to the floor and leaves. At least the hallway is clear now. As I continue walking, the lights start to flicker, the monster starts growing. I can still see. This should be a problem. Oh, oh, I can hardly see. Might be better turn around now. I reach out to touch a wall, but there's only air. I take a step forward, but my foot touches nothing. Am I falling? Am I still standing? I don't know where I am. Eternal darkness, the black void hugs you like a blanket. Try again. Okay. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like games like this. Nice, peaceful games. It, had, it doesn't have to be like anything ridiculous or creepy or scary to be a good game. I like it. This is, a, this is good. I like it. I hope y'all liked it too. Please like, share, and subscribe. With that being said, I am Hoodtastic. This is The Void. And I am gone.